Did I make it to the top? Latest from Retired and Living the Dream at Whitby on Whitby's 199 steps. So here I am in red car, just waiting for the bus now to go to Whitby. It feels like one of the coldest days I've ever been here. As you can see, it's raining a little bit now. So the bus from here to Whitby takes about an hour. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So here I am, just got off the bus in Whitby. Quite a pleasant ride, really. Nice through the countryside, through the coastal route, about an hour and a half altogether. The weather's a little bit better in Whitby than it was in Redcar, but it's still very cold. So I'm going to find me there and see where the hotel is and then go from there. So I'm going to show you around Whitby. There is pubs and places where I'm going to go. It brings a lot of memories to me, does Whitby, because I've, I've been here many times. I remember coming here as a child fishing. Lovely. Yeah. Okay, it's probably changed an awful lot because I haven't been here for over 15 years. But we'll see how it goes. So this is my hotel for the night, the Weatherspoons, the Angel Hotel. I've just been in there for a coffee, it's absolutely fantastic, I must say. First impressions are very, very good. Overlooking the harbour. But there we go. Bit of Whitby Harbour and we're going to go around and walk around Whitby. Walking along the harbour side now. Yeah. Anybody that's been to Whitby will know where we are. It just brings back so many memories walking along here. Now Whitby is supposedly have 31 pubs. So I'm going to try a few of them this afternoon and tonight. And uh, some of them over that side of the things. And then I'm going to go have a walk up to the Abbey. The famous 199 steps. I'll take some pictures from there. But it's a very bracing day. But it's lovely. Walking about. Check into my hotel at two o'clock. And uh, I said the Weatherspoons, the Angel. Had a cup of coffee there, like all Weatherspoons, coffee and, and food in there is very, very, very well worth it. One pound thirty-five for a coffee. The cheapest coffee in Whitby. Right there. Let's have a look. The pier now. And uh, let's have a look. We have beef lasagna, £12.50. Chicken and bacon salad, £12.50. Fish and chips, £13.95. Small fish and chips, £11.95. Scampi and chips, £12.95. Fish pie, £13.50. My goodness. But I've seen fish and chips in the Weatherspoons, $3.99. So it won't take two guesses as to where I'm going to be going for fish and chips. I don't know what the portion's like, but I'll let you know. But that's at Weatherspoons. I've got to say, the only thing that's really impressed me at the minute with England is Weatherspoons, as to how cheap things are and how good value it is. But walking down the high street now, or the seafront should I say, and the Magpie Cafe. Magpie Cafe was always famous for good fish and chips. And we've been in there and you, 
years and years ago you needed to take a mortgage out to get fish and chips but hey let's have a look can we see what it is uh, 17 12 ounce large portion for those with a very good appetite 17 pound 50 14.95 and 10.95 for a small portion oh. <laughs> fish and chips you've got to do fish and chips when you're a whitby so. we're walking up to the harbour front now so yeah I'm, I'm here having a good time I've sort of got over the cold now although it's, it's a cold feeling it is winter it is December uh, just having a little time away from Redcar whilst I can because it might be some years before I actually come back to England again and it's just like a walk down memory lane come to Whitby which is about an hour and a half away by bus and that was a pleasant journey as well on the bus so at the hotel I was thinking about hiring a car whilst I was in England but if I parked the car at the hotel it was nine pound nine pound for 24 hours parking because at the hotel at the there wasn't any parking space so the whole hotel by the way is, is only 63 pounds a night it's sort of one of the, the cheaper hotels in Whitby but as far as I can see it looks like a really really good value but uh, we'll see I'll do a review of the room later on also so I hope this it isn't too windy for the camera but now I've got to the pier remember going fishing here as a kid love this most of the cops rubs out of your hair that's for sure Forty p to go for a pee in the public toilets at the seafront. Forty p for a pee. <laughs> Looks very Christmassy and festive. The quayside on the harbour. Go have a beer in one of the lovely pubs that are over the bridge. It's freezing cold, I don't care anymore. I'm in a big bit now. It's a very nice place to be. Go down, find a couple of nice pubs, spend a couple of hours in the nice and warm, have a chat to a few people, and, and see where we go. But the cobble streets of Whitby. Always nice, always nice to walk down. Just very old fashioned and it's like a part of the heritage of Whitby. Yeah, there we go, look at that, looks beautiful. I'll have a little walk down that one later, but we're gonna go up the next one. Because there's a, there's a bar over there that I know. And it's got like a big coal fire. Nice and warm oldie worldy lovely okay so let's have a look see what it's like inside with a white horse and griffin a nice beer and this is where it was timothy taylor's five pound thirty for a beer Well, £5.30 for a pint of beer. Very expensive. This is the, the bar. Right. 
gel frozen curry. A tenner for a gel frozen Weatherspoons and Whitby. Yeah. The dolphin. Here I am in Weatherspoons, the Angel at Whitby. Uh, really good night's sleep. Uh, nice to be in a in a nice big double bed as opposed to sleeping on my sister's sofa and a cup of coffee ordered my breakfast £5.40 for breakfast so I'm waiting for my breakfast now so then I'm going to have a walk up the 199 steps after breakfast before I go home back to Red here we go anybody that's been to Whitby has got to go up these 199 steps to the Abbey Now I'm going to be puffing and panting, I'm sure, going up these. These will get rid of me breakfast calories. So here we go. 199. But I'm not going to count them all. Here we go. The 199 steps and you get the great view of Whitby but oh, that certainly took the wind out my sails and now there we have the what's at the top of the 199 steps Whitby, lovely. I always love this place, I always will do. Who knows how many years it will be before I see this place again. Oh. I'm going to walk down the 199 steps. I had to come, I had to go and do it. It's one of them things. Famous in would be 199 steps up to the Abbey, which is over there. But it's freezing cold, it looks like it's going to rain. So, down towards the bus back to Redcar. You go down a lot quicker than you come up, that's for sure. Again, the views. 199 steps, beautiful. But on a cold, cold, cold day. So that was my stay in the hotel, the Angel Hotel run by Weatherspoons in Whitby. I've got to say, I'd recommend it absolutely 100%. Staff were great, the room was good, the bed was comfortable. Uh, you stay in the hotel and you can go straight into the Weatherspoons restaurant and have a meal. The breakfast was superb. Coffee refills for 135. Superb value.